Hi everyone, I'm Close Ace Makeup and I'm gonna do a Halloween Fairy makeup tutorial for I I did my brows tinted moisturizer and my left eye off camera on makeup rocks and I all these will be all drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And at chat chat, let's get started. This has this is part of my Halloween makeup series. Fairies has been around for thousands of years. It's a mythical, legendary creature. Its origins are in Europe. My color story is like purple, green, and a little bit of pink. Like I'm wearing a flower headband that's totally like giving fairy vibes. Onto makeup for a primer, I took the hard candy one, no doubt, and I waited for it to dry before getting through my left eye. The palette I'm using is Makeup Revolution X Tammy Chop Gold Colorful Palette. A bright colorful eyeshadow palette will do at home. I'm not picking it up because it has a big mirror. I'm not blinding you. I'm taking Girlies, St. Catherine, Destiny, and Calypso today. The brushes I'm using are two from Best Soap, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, and one equal tools full blush brush. For the crease, I'm taking Girlies, which is the pinky purple. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Angled Shadow Brush. I have a wash of color here. You just want a wash of color anyways. I might add one more layer for like the tips of the brush. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie. And I've been making makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, little pigment? I'm going to blend it. The car speed air went out of my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. For this type of Halloween fairy, I'm going for a purple and green color story. That's what I want to do because those secondary colors scream Halloween. For the lower lash line, I'm taking Saint Catherine, which is the bright green. The brush I'm using is the best taupe medium eyebrow brush. Get in there as close as you can to your own lower lashes. Sweep from inner corner to, oh, outer corner to inner corner using an angled brush or any small detail brush that you have at home. I'm going to add like one more layer for the tips of the brush. And my eye is watering. It's a sunny day in London. My reference at the time I'm filming this video. Oh yeah. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. That looks good. And I have a lime green eyeliner. I thought that will be appropriate and I swatched them on the back of my hand. For wall line, I'm taking Rimmel Kind and Free Clean Eye Definer in Soft Orchard. This is the perfect lime green eyeliner for the wall line. Unfortunately, it's not waterproof, but it is a pretty color. I can see myself wearing this lime green eyeliner every day. It's the perfect soft autumn shade for the waterline. Did you know that lime green is a mix of both bright green and bright yellow? I believe that looks good. I love the green underneath. And my eye is sort of like watering. I'm going to ignore it for the lid. I'm taking... Destiny, which is sort of like a gray purple. Well, it's a gray purple in my pan, but it seems like a pinky purple. This color reminds me of Barney the Dinosaur. It's just my opinion. Like, pinky purple is a mix of pink and purple. 
This color is reminding me of Barney on the Lid. Uh, it's giving a little bit of fairy lives. Like the lower lash line is reminding me of Tinkerbell. Just spreading across it evenly. In my opinion, I find that the shimmers that Makeup Revolution has is on the dry side, but the mattes are still creamy and blendable. It's just my opinion. Get in there as close as you can for the inner corner. I'm taking Calypso, which is the shimmer lime green, to bring lifeness to the eyes. I'm going to apply some mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. For blush, I'm taking the Essence Mel's Daily Blush, and all you need is pink. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Full Blush Brush, and I'm going to smile. And I'm going to sweep it towards my temple a little bit. Just like... A uh, wash of color, I guess, to give that youthful fairy look. Remember, tips of the bristles, smile, and then t go towards your hairline. Or probably temples. This shade of blush is matching the flower part of my headband. Mm. A little bit of flush to the cheeks to highlight my face. I'm taking Eva Color Selfie Face Highlighter in Magnifico everywhere except for the cheekbones. It is a white highlighter with a green reflex. And it reminds me of Tinkerbell so much. I did a Tinkerbell inspired makeup tutorial back in 2022. It was okay, I guess. It looks good. Like, in the light, it reminds me of Pixie Dust. It's a very beautiful highlighter. Any, like, highlighter with a green shift will do at home. For face and body glitter, I'm taking Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Glitter Gel in Bone Zone. This is so beautiful. It has white green and purple and some pink i'm gonna squeeze it on the back of my hand and some like kind of exploded on the tube i don't know how to describe it like you have to be really gentle with this kind of formula i guess i guess this is far as i can go pretty face and body glitter by the way and I'm going to take my middle finger and then put it on my cheekbones. I'm not like doing my chest or collarbone area because like I'm going apple picking at Apple Land Station this afternoon, I guess. Or all would, oh, I would have to say like going to the pumpkin patch, I guess. Somewhere around there at Apple Land this afternoon. My hair is sort of, like, getting in the way. Like, in the light, you can see green, blue, purple. It looks really beautiful. It reminds me of pixie dust. And a little trick, like, for those bigger parts of glitter that you want to remove, take some regular tape and then... Tape it back and forth to get rid of the glitter. I do that. For lip prep, I'm taking EOS Coconut Milk Lip Balm. This is the old packaging, by the way. I'm going to roll it. Lips and toilet paper. So it looks nice and hydrated. Trap lips are not cute. For my pink lipstick, I'm taking NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Tokyo. No lip liner. This is so beautiful because the eyes are bright. I had this for four years. And it's probably going strong, I guess. Unfortunately, it does transfer when I eat. So I have to reapply it throughout the day. 
but it's still okay. Here is the completed Halloween Fairy Mega Doll. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments. Below, I went for a purple and green theme. So, stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you! Bye!